Welcome to the podcast, Fire Mission Battery. Hello, I'm John Moore. I'll be your host for this journey through a history of artillery. Why artillery? Why indeed, eh? In this modern age with its obsession with armoured vehicles, air power and cruise missiles, it's easy to forget the power, efficacy and sheer excitement of a gun line in action. Add to this Napoleon's statement that God is on the side of the biggest guns and we start to get a feeling for this particular arm. To begin with, I'll define some terms. Artillery weapons will be referred to as guns throughout the podcast. The people servicing the guns are gunners. The group of gunners, including a sergeant and bombardier, lance bombardier, servicing the gun is a gun detachment, sometimes referred to as a gun crew. The gun is composed of a barrel, is supported on a gun carriage, and is pulled since the horses have been retired by a gun tractor. This gun tractor is, in the majority of cases, a truck, sometimes a small four-wheel drive like a Land Rover, sometimes a couple of donkeys for mountain guns when the guns are stripped down and attached to the donkeys. I have seen a North Korean military parade where the gun tractors were actual farm tractors painted olive green. So there's no accounting for taste. There is also a combination of tractor and gun known as a self, as self-propelled artillery. So all of the above is a fairly broad outline of field, for field guns, say 75 mils to 120. We will see as we move through history, calibres are a many varied thing, just like love. Larger calibres from, say, 155 millimetres and up are referred to as medium guns, There are also heavy guns from the nine inches of the British armies of World War II to the 205 millimetres of the Israeli Defence Force. Bigger still, usually, are the coastal defence guns, but that's a whole other story. At the other end are things like mortars, which swap back and forth from infantry weapons to artillery weapons. We will be touching on them as we move through this series. They have a long history themselves. Uh, during World War I, the number and calibres of mortars can become quite mind-boggling, so prepare yourself for that. Another class of uh, gun, obviously only since the Wright brothers, is the anti-aircraft gun. We will cover them as the timeline reaches them. And this will also be the case for anti-tank, or if you prefer, tank attack, tank attack guns. Again in the far distant future for this podcast. I'll be having guest interviews with gunners who have serviced particular guns as they come up in the timeline. I'm also attempting to contact reenactors who crew historical weapons for that personal touch. If you wish to offer your expertise, please contact me through the feedback form on the website. Uh, That's in the show notes. I'd really appreciate appreciate any input from others with experience and or knowledge. We will begin this podcast on the 4th of December, St. Barbara's Day, with a look at early Chinese guns. From that point on, I'm looking at monthly episodes to start off with. And we'll be starting on St. Barbara's Day because she's the patron saint of gunners, and we'll cover that on the 4th. Thanks for listening. Please tell anyone you know any way you can about the podcast. And I'll be back on the 4th of December with episode 1.